Hey guys, Sebastian here, going over the Cardano roadmap update this time for April 2018. Uh, so let's get right into it. The first thing I want to mention, uh, which is the most exciting part, is that the uh, stake pool registration is now open. Uh, you can now register if you want to become a stake pool to be part of a test network. The way it's going to work is if you want to be a pool, uh, you can sign up either now uh, as a volunteer basically to test the protocol make sure everything works everything's put in place all the logistics are correct uh, and if you want to do that you can sign up now uh, or you can wait until after the testing period is over after which pool there uh, after which point there will be a period where I believe any uh, pool will be able to register to the system uh, which will not be controlled by any you can just like a register at will so if you look into the registration process, uh, it's actually surprisingly simple. You just put in your information, uh, check a few check boxes, and then that's basically it. A lot of people are actually thinking that this process is going to be more complicated. You're going to have to like justify why you think uh, you deserve to be a pool, uh, how you contribute to the community, how you're a reputable person, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but none of that is present in this registration process form which has uh, confused a lot of people so a lot of people are, are not speculating maybe this will be like a two-step process first you give them your information and afterwards there'll be like a follow-up email or follow-up survey about why you think you're qualified or like you know it's just speculation at this point but it's kind of strange that it's uh, so simple but anyways back to the rest of the update uh, so going over it uh, exchange enhancement is uh, still at 80%, which is, uh, you know, kind of strange because they've been putting so much work into the uh, V1 API. I think this is like one of the top things they're working on right now, despite the fact that the percentage hasn't moved. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, log submission mechanism has gone up from 85% to 100%. And you know if you've used the latest wallet version that this feature has been shipped, everybody can use this. There's been a lot of uh, good feedback from this. Uh, so this has like, you know, already shipped and it's been going well. So it's, you know, a nice uh, checkbox uh, note on the features that have already been built. Uh, next one is a user survey, which is new. I think they're putting this here. In, it's not really a roadmap entry. I think they're just using this to like, uh, promote uh, the user survey and promote the fact that there is a new version uh, released. So like uh, I'm I'm not sure if this is like actually like a ro roadmap item or just like a way for them to advertise themselves. Uh, moving on, the delegation is still at uh, seventy five percent. So this has not moved, uh, which is interesting because the so I know that they haven't really put any code uh, towards this, uh, but uh, the fact that the uh, stake pool registration is not open seems to indicate that like maybe. You know, even though this pro progress bar hasn't changed, they're, they've been like uh, making progress towards this. I think the reason why is because uh, the progress that moved is actually not in this uh, section. It's actually in a later section. We'll see later on. Uh, Multi-signature transactions, no progress. It's still where it was before. Uh, the wallet backend is still at 60%. I'm not sure like uh, exactly how they define what the 60% is. Because obviously they're doing work on the wallet backend like every day. It's one of their main work items, but uh, you know what does it mean when the wallet backends at a hundred percent? Like, how do you really define that? I'm not sure uh, exactly what this is making progress towards, uh, but you know it might like it's not like they didn't touch the. They've done a lot of like uh, work on uh, making the wallet backends better. Uh, next one is, is incentive and fees. This one has gone up. So this one has gone up from uh, 45 to 70 percent. So this is uh, what I was talking about earlier, where actually this delegation uh, progress bar has not gone up. Uh, but what has gone up is the incentives and fees structure, which is kind of related you, because this is how they decide uh, how will the incentive structure work for staking pools and all this kind of stuff. And they put a video on this topic fairly recently about uh, the game theory uh, behind staking pools and this kind of stuff. So this is probably like a, what they were concentrating on. Uh, quantum resistant uh, signatures has not progressed. This is still at 50%. The client client support has also not uh, progressed. 
which is also kind of strange because uh, they've put out some more documentation, some API endpoints geared towards uh, like client support. Maybe it's just not enough to warrant like a percent increase. Or maybe this is like uh, they're talking about the actual like client itself and not the backend API to use it. Uh, but th th even though this has not moved up, this is like something they're actually working on. Uh, you know, in these like you know, not a lot. Like, they're actually working on something. Did something a month ago. They're like actually working on it right now. So uh, this one probably you'll see it move up uh, as, as time goes on. Human friendly addresses. This has not moved. It's still twenty percent. I've never seen them like talk about this since they've uh, put this up here. So, you know, it's still something they want to do, but it's just not a priority right now. The networking uh, is also remaining at 50%, uh, which is also, I think, kind of strange because they've done a lot of testing. So they, in, in previous weeks, we mentioned uh, a lot about features they've built for the networking. And uh, basically what they've done since that time is mostly a lot of like a benchmarking, tooling work, all this kind of stuff. <laughs> So they, this is still at fifty percent, but they have like made progress on this, uh, into implementing the features. They they they, they like uh, progress towards shipping the features they built essentially. You know all the testing and measurements, all this kind of stuff. So it's still at fifty percent, but they they've been like uh, working on this. The voting centers still at twenty percent. Uh, I'm not sure if, like if they're doing much about this, uh, right now, but uh, you know. It'll, it'll come eventually, I guess. I think this is like a, might be like a after they get staking all that done. Uh, Payroll wallet uh, has gone up to uh, from ten percent to thirty three percent. I'm not sure why it's only thirty three percent. I think this should probably be like a much higher. Considering uh, if you watch my last uh, technical update video, they had a list of like uh, check boxes for all the features that need to be done and in place. Uh, for paper wallets to be finished and they're like almost there it's like uh, basically almost done the only reason I might think that this is only 33% is uh, one like as they're getting near the end of the checkboxes they mention there may be like some redesign required to like uh, finish uh, the feature entirely so maybe they think that this like a uh, uh, missing feature I'm not sure exactly what it is uh, may like end up taking a lot of time or that it may just like uh may not be a priority right now, so like uh, the paper wallet progress will like, kind of like a pause for a while and come back later. I'm not sure like uh, how they come up with this, but considering like in the picture they actually have a picture of them printing out like a working paper wallet, like uh, you know I'm not sure, like uh, you know they have all the UI, all the code for it, it's all done, so I'm not sure exactly like uh, why it's 33 percent, but like uh, you know it's coming soon I think. Uh, next one, release strategy. This has not moved forward. Uh, I'm not sure like uh, exactly uh, what they mean by the release strategy, exactly like uh, what they're working on. I know that uh, Charles, I believe, mentioned that they wanted to do uh, monthly releases of the wallet and the backend. So you might remember we had the original release and then we had the uh, updates like uh, last month, and uh, you know between that time there's like a you know a fair amount of time with like a no update in particular, and they want to get to like a faster shipping cycle, possibly monthly shipping cycle, and so this is uh, probably uh, tracking this, and uh, I'm not sure if they're working on anything particular to make this happen right now. I know they made a lot of changes to their like a continuous integration framework to the, like the way they handle the get pull request, all this kind of stuff, uh, to make some of this like engineering system better. But I'm not sure uh, exactly like a uh, part of this release strategy, uh, you know, what is included. And uh, uh, the other thing to note uh, is that the owner of this task has switched from uh, Domain Kozar, I believe his name is, to uh, Jacob Mitchell, as you can see here. The reason why is because uh, Domain Kozar announced that uh, he is leaving IOHK. This was, uh, you know, March 30th, and uh, to pursue some new uh, endeavor, which I'm not too sure if he's announced that exactly what it is. Uh, but just be aware that, you know, the person in charge of this task has also changed. Uh, so I'm not sure how much that will affect the task itself. 
Yeah, then once the staple registration, I showed this to you guys earlier. Uh, after that, the Ledger wallet has gone up uh, 33%. And uh, I think the reason it's gone up 33% is that maybe one of them is like a business side of things. I'm not sure like uh, exactly what has gone for on that. But as I mentioned earlier, like similar to the light client uh, support, uh, the the way the documentation and the features that are building for the light client support is uh, in a sense some of the same features they need for the Ledger wallet. Uh, so, you know, they've, they've done some like a dev work progress uh, towards uh, getting this out. But I'm not sure if this 33% is like related to dev work or purely related to like the uh, business side of things. Uh, next up is the site chains. So site chains has gone from 10 to 15%, uh, which I think is, is uh, you know, great. This is something that they need to get uh, out to uh, connect the uh, competition layer with the settlement layer. So this is like a blocking feature, like you need to get this done as soon as possible to be able to connect all the other things they're working on. Uh, so it's good that they're making progress on this. Uh, similarly, uh, this I think in a sense these are like uh, in my mind kind of tied together, which is the accounting model, which has gone from 25% uh, to 50%. The reason I say that they're in a sense tied together is that uh, the accounting model is for uh, how to, like if there's any difference between the UTXO model used by Bitcoin and the account-based model used by Ethereum, right? And they, so they've done like a research on this. They put out paper fairly recently. I think they're presenting a paper to the conference or like a, something like that, uh, that was just, which was in the uh, technical report. Uh, but in a sense, like uh, this communication between these two models is the, uh, way they're going to use these side chains. So these side chains will be using this uh, uh, communication strategy to be able to communicate with the uh, settlement layer and the computation layer. So in a sense, like a, uh, you can see these as like a kind of tied together or like maybe in a sense, like the side chains is like a larger scoped version of the accounting model. Uh, next one is Plutus Core, which has not moved. This is still at 12%. Which I think is kind of strange because uh, they made a presentation on this fairly recently, talking about the progress, talking about the uh, the work they've uh, done into this. Uh, I, but like uh, they put updated, but I think the update is not in the progress. I think it's the video, so they put in the video that they uploaded. Uh, but they also put up some code uh, publicly, so they created a new GitHub repository, I believe, like a uh, two weeks ago, where you could now test out, uh, I believe, Plutus Core, uh, specifically. You could test out uh, Marlow, which is their uh, domain-specific language uh, for creating like a financial smart contracts. So like uh, they've been doing work on this, and uh, I think it's progressing actually pretty fast, despite the fact that it's still like uh, at twelve percent. Uh, next one is the IELE virtual machine, which has uh, gone up from fifty percent, fifteen percent to fifty percent, uh, which is really fast progress. Uh, if you know, uh, this is now uh, run by a group called uh, Runtime Verification, RV for short. And uh, they recently uploaded a video, which is uh, somebody from the group uh, who you know is, is leading this project, uh, who is talking about exactly what they're working on, the progress they're making, and then this kind of stuff. So if you're not too familiar, this is like the virtual machine that is done with the K framework and uh, is trying to use like a verified by design uh, virtual machine. So this is like a, one of the things they've been working on and one of the things that they've been making a lot of progress on. You can find all their code on GitHub. They've done a lot of progress on the like EVM uh, specification, this kind of stuff. Next one. Uh, integration and implementation. I guess this is like the integration of everything else in this like a set of, uh, of, of this part of the roadmap. Uh, so obviously they, they, they didn't make any progress on here because they're like waiting for all the research on the other side. It was just like a fine acceptable. And then the testnet launch is like a not changed. It's also fine because they need to like wait for all the above things to be completed. 
that's it for the uh, update uh, for this month. Uh, as usual, you can find me on Twitter. You can find me on YouTube. All the other, you know, common social media. I have an account on there. So uh, if you want to keep track of Cardano development, uh, just follow me. I also have a Patreon if you want to subscribe to it. And a donation link uh, in the description. So if you want to uh, support me and keep track of updates, uh, you know, I'm more than willing to be on this journey with you together.